Go ahead, say a bad word. Fuck. Shit, bitch. Okay. $380,000 spent on lawsuit. Really? Mm -hmm. Because I, dude, I, for a while, like, dude, I felt like I lost my friend. When you were in your, this shack out here, yeah. building this place, I think I'm losing my best friend. Do you want to know something that I've never, I don't think I've ever told you? Yeah. You can't have any dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not even giving this shit to you. You know how you know I'm a good friend of you? I have 200 carbs and only 42 fat, and I'm about to take potentially multiple shots and take away from my macros, but it's okay. Everyone's a winner and everyone's a loser. Show because of this one shot. <laughs> Right. Straight. Yeah. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever episode of Don't Be Sour. I'm your host, Max Tuning, YouTube candy man, and I'm joined by none other than one of my best friends in my whole life and entrepreneur, Mr. Christian Guzman. But dude, tell tell me like if if you were describing who you were to mm -hmm. someone who didn't know who you were, like what do you say you do? Uh uh, it's a good question. You don't call yourself a YouTuber. I, if, if they kind of like, just like, what do you do? Or is it like the, like, what's your story kind of deal? Hey, just Sony, what do, what do you do for work? Uh, I make clothes. I make clothes and I'm in the fitness industry for oh. fit, I make fitness apparel. That's what they say. Nice. Yeah. Kind of downplays it. Yeah. I feel like that's the biggest one though. That's the biggest chunk of my time. Yeah. So. It's, 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 if someone's like, what do you do? He's kind of like, how much time you got? Like how, how deep you want me to go in this question? I design clothes and sell them online. Yeah. You know, that's what I say. What do you think of the, what do you think of the studio? It's sick. We're getting a dimmer for this. Mm. I know you're thinking dimmer. You just met her, but we had to brighten. We're going to lower the brightness a little bit on that. That was so, that was planned. That wasn't planned, that was dude. So planned. That was not, that was, that was not <laughs> planned. But I, we, we, we do have some, some rules here that I've established. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one is you can curse. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Say a bad word. Fuck. Shit, bitch. Okay. That's well, not like the song, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that felt good, didn't it? Yeah. All right. Number two is you, you got to elaborate whenever, you know, ask questions. Don't mm -hmm. say yeah, 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 or no, 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 no. Elaborate. We're having a conversation. Yeah. And number three is we actually have a tradition on this show. Yeah, it's only the first episode, but we have a long-standing tradition where we start the show All right. with a I, shot. I assumed, yep, here goes Did the you? macros. But, yep. No, but here, here's the great part. Um, don't worry, there's... One to two more opportunities throughout the show. Just just play along. Here we All go. Right. And you cannot take a chaser with this one. All right. Okay. You know, you know how I know. You know how you know I'm a good friend of you. I have 200 carbs and only 42 fat, and I'm about to take potentially multiple shots and take away from my macros. But it's okay. Christian acts like 200 carbs is it's the death of. I'm at 250, but you're a higher protein. We're at roughly the same calories, and you act like you're dying every day. But you are a bigger man. I also output a lot, but 25,000 steps a day. That's too many steps, dude. Yeah. All right, take this. Cheers. 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 Don't be sour. To episode one. Yeah, yeah, Like water. Feels like we're 27 again. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that stings the nostrils. Nice you got to go warm. at least like two minutes before you take a sip of your other drink. Got that. You know, we're, we're oh. going to get into it, but, but Christian and I used to drink like all a, the time, a lot, a lot, like a whole lot. Days and days and days in a row. I want to, I want to <laughs> start by going, yeah, I know, actually we're going to get to that. Yeah, yeah. that. I, I want to start by kind of going back and like our history together yeah. and why we go back. Because the reason I asked you to be my first guest, not only do I love you a lot, I, I feel like because we've gone through literally every the entire industry together, yeah, yeah, like every big milestone together. I think it just makes sense that, you know, I'm starting this new venture and I, I really want you to be a part of like the, the on the ground floor. I, ho I wish you guys could know how many, co how many ideas have been implemented and how many projects have been started over a game of pool at the house. Yeah. For real. Like, but, but now you'd ask the question, when was the last time Christian and I played pool at his house? Very long time. Like how long? <laughs> I don't have the pool table at my house anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I'd say well over a year. Oh, more than that. Oh. Two years probably. Okay, that's well over. Yeah, no, it's not good or bad to change dynamic, but we know that you know we're both fucking getting busy. But at the end of the day, you need something. Yeah. You know, we're that's how it works when you get older. I think. How 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 do we meet? Uh, let's go. Let's go back. Take him to back. the okay. So I saw I watched Max on YouTube. Right, found him on YouTube. I was watching anything fitness related I could on YouTube. I think it was like the full day of eating videos. To be honest, like those are like what that's kind of, like, like that's the, the classic that got me in. And then uh, I. What kind of I was on I was kind of developing like oh I want to start my own gym kind of deal so I didn't know who to ask so like I I would ask Max like Matt if you sorrow y'all were like the first two I kind of talked to 
that like responded. Like yeah. my host didn't respond and Chris Jones didn't but, respond. But I mean, you, you started YouTube a year before I did, right? 2012, uh, March 2012, I started. Right, so I'm January of 2013. I did an Inzer Belt review. So you're more into the YouTube game than Slight, I was. Slightly. And yeah. when, when we started, you got to keep in mind that there was a true kind of like little fitness community. There was only what? 10 people yeah. tops and everyone we, we would all like everyone would watch each other's videos yeah. comment on it whenever someone would upload it was like an exciting thing because yeah. one of the 10 people that made fitness content yeah would do it so what we met back in it's almost like there i will say there was like the this like the the really intense physiques like the greg plitz the rob riches like the the simian panda the ulysses yeah. like all those like simply shredded.com like guys right and then i feel like there was this next generation on on youtube which were kind of more more real more relatable yeah. like not just like writing an article online and posting how to get shredded but like talking into the cameras and stuff and like yeah that i mean that's kind of that first how that first group sort of formed i i think we were almost like the i'd call us like the third generation of fitness influencers because i feel like the first generation is the arnold's yeah. like we'll, we'll say that's like first generation generation two in my opinion was the and not saying this they're not still huge in the fitness industry themselves and have you know huge massive audiences in their own kind of like jay cutler and all that well i'd, I'd say jay cutler's still yeah I, yeah yeah well jay i'd say like like steve cook Paige yeah. hathaway like they were like in my opinion these well the, until like I, I couldn't even i was like oh my god like there's crazy is they were they were popping off as we were popping off though like mm -hmm. they were at it as we were at it but they were like they were more established in the sense of like they were magazine covers and like they were yeah. kind of more like official you know what i mean in the like to be a fitness industry person like we didn't look like that <laughs> you know no, what i mean so no. like i guess like they had that under the belt and we we kind of were just making you know why do you think that we why do you think that like youtube fitness back in the day had the success that it did because we were just very normal people like we we didn't have even a a tenth of what's going on now that maybe people are maybe looking to us for for like inspiration or business advice we, we were just i think honestly you just get like and this is why i loved youtube because i would just get invested in what people were like I, matt ogus is like who really got me into like the personal vlog he's like right. matt versus series uh i just whatever he was talking about be, and, it, and i was kind of interested because he had a good physique right so like, i was like okay this guy clearly knows what he's, it's like a guy Ma matt ogus had like almost like the perfect the physique. perfect physique. his abs were the, shredded yeah and like he's the only person that kind of would you know talk about weighing his food and like carbohydrates mm -hmm. and like kind of things like that and so i found it so interesting because you know that was the first person vlogging or, or uploading more than just like information. It was like kind of, you know, you would see his dog and you see his girlfriend. He was one of the first people that I ever got like a relatability in terms of like a vlog yeah. because he would make all this fitness content. And he and watches then, the same show as you and yeah, shit. No, yeah. it was, so one day he literally goes, like for some reason people are asking what shampoo I use and he went into his bathroom. And at first I was like, I don't care what shampoo this guy uses. Like what, why, this isn't fitness content. And he showed it and I was in my head, I go, Hey, that's a shampoo I use. Like, and then <laughs> yeah. like, it was like little stuff like that. I was like, I related to this and it was yeah. just like a normal person where I, I kind of not, like I, I so admired him. This is before I started YouTube, but I, I almost took him off this pedestal of this person that was like an untouchable to me. And I was like, it brought him to, not like brought him down to me, but like it brought him to a level that I could relate to them. That yeah. it wasn't this like no, exactly. iconic person. It was just like, a guy who was like him me. and his friends are like hanging out at the yeah. gym and shit like that. And, it's relatable. Yeah. And you get invested in. And right? Chris, so my buddy, Daryl, Daryl, the dentist showed me your channel. And I, at first did not like your channel because <laughs> yeah. back then, I don't know if you could natural teen physique update. <laughs> Christian Guzman. Dude. Uh, so no, like when I, when I was started on YouTube scene, I was very bra, like bodybuilding.com, like bro, like bra which kind of is now this generation's kind of coming back but yeah i i didn't like your content when daryl showed me because i thought you were i thought you were fake because you didn't say fuck every 10 <laughs> seconds like i did and then max got in trouble for his I, for his oh, job i know his full-time job i literally was like, was you like stop that he goes oh shit <laughs> <laughs> but i was just like i was like this guy doesn't curse this guy's like too nice yeah and then you know what sucked me in uh, and this is no i think no well she's adorable but this is where i think you revolutionized YouTube and destroyed it at the same time. Ready for this? Because your quality was so amazing. Mm. It was so easy to watch your videos because you, you were the first person to get a DSLR, a DSLR and yeah. use it. And I was like, wow, this is just like, it's easy to watch. And it was the first way that our first time that I thought, I was like, wow. Literally having, the camera quality change. Mm -hmm. It's like the, in the color correction and that and a little bit of black bars. 
Yeah. A little bit of color. Christian's and color just, used to he used to just be blue. Like his yeah, yeah. all your videos were like But but then so that difference happened when Javon so yeah, I, I was always inspired. I tried to make my own edits with like cause the Greg Clip promo mm -hmm. videos. You'd watch, I'd watch those on YouTube before the gym to get hyped. Like three yeah. minutes long, just say get fucking hyped. Um, I would watch Ziz videos. Yeah. See, I wasn't much of a Ziz. I wasn't I was more like the the motivating kind of speech, like, you know, that kind of yeah. deal. No, I, I, I subscribed to Greg Plitt. I paid, yeah. paid for his, him, his, like Eric Thomas, like Les Brown, like all those, like, I don't the, know that is. those are like the, like the, some of the bigger names and just like, you know, you need to bat as bad as you want to breathe. That kind mm -hmm. of, you know, the, those things I just listen on repeat and shit. It's so like, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, uh, I forgot where I was going with that shots hit me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Dude. Well, what's great is, is so I think Christian, not only stepped it up with quality, made everyone kind of level it up. And oh, then, Javon. Javon yeah, and then, and then when you started implementing like these edits, mm -hmm. no one was doing that because back in the day, uh, workout edits were two minutes of like hardcore rock music and nothing yeah. was to the cut or anything. It was just music over playing, working out. Yeah. And that was, people would upload these two minute workout motivational videos and it was insane to everyone. And then you truly stepped up the game. And that's what I was joking about how you like ruined it is because you, you basically made everyone start stepping up their shit. Yeah. And, and it's funny. Cause like, I remember my, when I was at college, uh, it turns out my neighbor, uh, right at the dorm next to me was a video guy. He had a Vero, uh, like a media company he was right. trying to build and, uh, he had a camera. And so he showed me some of his like music videos and I was like, you want to film want me a job? doing bicep curls? You want a job? <laughs> yeah, you want to come, you want to come to the gym? I, have you seen you. how shredded my <laughs> triceps are? You want to film that? And it, it all kind of started taking off there. And like, he kind of started gaining some traction himself. And like, it was like a combo, like, okay, let's, you know, plan out some cool scenes. Let me yeah. go like running to the gym or let me like, you drive in that car, I'll pretend like I'm driving here and we'll get some shots and like staging a few things. So it's not just like literally like filming a workout, yeah. making it more cinematic, getting a drone. Like that was all, uh, yeah, a little slowing down the songs 10% before YouTube got all crazy. Yeah. Could, like use badass, like cool it, songs. It's crazy. I mean, so in, in Christian and myself have been making content ever since. And so kind of flash forwarding. So I, we, we found each other on YouTube. We would comment and then we first officially met. Do you want to tell the story? Arnold 2014. 14. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Arnold 2014. That was the that first was, that Arnold was I ever went to. Heidi was there, mm -hmm. freaking like Buff, the Buff Bunny was there. Yeah. You were there. Matt Ogus, Mark Lovato, Fit. Mark Fit. I remember, yeah, me and him just like, and you was kind of ditched and just went and did yeah. shit. Yeah. And I remember at the gym that Christian and I Daniel met Daniel Bailey at. and Rob. Man, yep, like, yep, holy but, shit. But now, but now we're like, we're friends with these yeah. people. That's what's yeah. mind blowing me, yeah. man. Because not Rob, only. Rob convinced me to buy this property. Really? I swear, bro. Like, I, because I, I called him and, I was, and he has, I, I called him and just was like, man, it's, it's just, uh, you know, asking questions about like the take on, like the, the, just what I, and he was like, you fucking pussy. Goes, do I it. have 20 properties. <laughs> yeah. I said, okay. Rob's a big man, dude. If he told me to do anything, I'd be like, okay. I, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they, yes, sir. Yes, sir. As, but it, at that event, it was when we were at the gym, when Christian and I first met, it was like, Daniel and Bailey. Oh, that's, that's Rob Bailey over there. Like we wouldn't even talk. Like you're like, I'm going to go say hi. Yeah. No way. Like, no way. And it was just, it was mind blowing. Yeah. And it's crazy how life has evolved. Now we're, we're, we're peers with the, you know, we're, we're friends with these people. Yeah. Like you have them in your phone. Like, you know, yeah. we, you can chat with them and it's, it's when Kai green recognized me, bro. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we went to like some back room at, I think it was body power or something. Uh, and he's like, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm Christian. He goes, I know who you are. You're doing great things, man. Keep young yeah. kid. Keep it up. Young man. I'm like, what, <laughs> what is happening? Um, but that, and I think that's how YouTube kind of bridged into that first or that second generation that you're talking mm -hmm. about was like, because the second generation started like seeing that sort of, and it, it kind of started mixing. I wonder if all of the people that were, you know, like, like let's say Steve Cook and all them, if they thought like, what is this you like new Bro, wave of what people? What do you think when, when Gymshark told, came and told Steve Cook, okay, Steve, we're going to fly you to Houston. So, and you're, we're going to do an athlete video with you and this guy named Christian. Uh, so yeah, y'all are like our two athletes and, and I'm like, Oh my God, Steve Cook. He's like, who the fuck? Who, where am I going? Yeah. <laughs> and like, I just thought it was like, I was awestruck. We're like, what the hell? Like, but yeah, it's that, and that just shows the direction that things started moving. And now the way things are going to continue moving in my opinion for anything related to like businesses or companies, like the marketing and everything is relating. It, it's moving towards organic just raw, real people instead yeah. of like these like propped up, like, you know, perfect images of what things. Well, I think like. fitness has evolved and changed, especially in the YouTube game, because if anyone goes back to our original content, it was 100% fitness. Yeah. We would just film 
you know, eight minutes of either a commentary. That'd be the whole video. Maybe you did talk about some You did food. a lot of commentaries. Yeah, it was yeah. either talk about your food or you would talk about what your lift is going to be and how your lift was afterwards. Yeah. There wasn't any, I'm going to go to the store and buy an Xbox. It was just like, it was only fitness content. Mm -hmm. And it's just evolved ever since then. And why do you think that, why, why do you think that, doing only these like tip videos and everything kind of like faded out over time. There's only so many tips you can do and repeat yourself. I mean, but I will say like, I think someone like Jeff Nippard, for example, is a great example of how you can push past just like, so, like straight up information. Just like if, if say you're a prank YouTube channel or say mm -hmm. you're like whatever category you're in, it's almost like you'd have to have in my, like in my opinion, you have to have a category. Yeah. Right. And, but from there, like you can, you're able to, push past it and find creative ways to like show your personality through, or like maybe you incorporate some skits or maybe you do it like in your own like way. But like for Jeff, like, you know, selling or, or giving scientific information in like a really condensed way is like his thing. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think, um, yeah, I don't know. And so there were a lot of other YouTubers at our time and now not many, there's not many hanging on you, me and a, a couple others that are still making content. Why do you think the people that started at the same time we did, had the same relative following that we did at the time. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like, you know, you always, you, and we'll, we'll get to that in a second, but like you, you were always a little bit above everyone, not in, in terms of like your popularity. Like, See, yeah, you gotta I, be real. Like, I, 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 I never really saw it like the, because I mean, there were years and years where I'm getting 10K, 12K views, right? When right. every Physique's the Greatness video or like anything like that was just like Athlean X just blowing so, up. So yeah, I, wanna, I wanna touch on that, but why, why do you think all of the people that were with us at the time that we started and were all around the same, why do you think that they stopped making content and we continued? It's just, I mean, I think that's a, uh, the longer you put you, you coming into something as a, as you or me or whoever's coming into like a, a challenge or like a hobby or which even a job or whatever, eventually over time, you're going to see like whose natural sort of instincts and characteristics sort of like, how do they, who, who are the people? Are they, I mean, maybe it, just because they're not making videos anymore, it's free, it doesn't mean that they're like not, they're lazy or that they're not driven or that they, right. but maybe they, they enjoy the owning the gym part more than making the videos. Maybe they enjoy the, 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 the designing the t-shirt and, and like, maybe that's what they found. They enjoyed more. Yeah. So like a lot of the people, I think naturally that they, maybe they found something that they enjoy more. I think that, or if someone kind of stopped putting as much effort, then maybe, you know, it, it didn't work out for whatever. Maybe, I don't know. It's just, I think, um, you weed it out, man. You see who really is here for the right reasons and, and wants to be doing it. And what's, what's interesting now is because now, you can clearly see when people, and now I understand because social media has become a normalcy, right? Yeah. It's still kind of weird to maybe a certain port, a certain amount of the population of like, I make YouTube videos and some, now it's a lot more accepted than it was way back in the day, right? Yeah. Oh, bro, yeah. We were, we lived through the worst of mm -hmm. it. Like, exactly. <laughs> yeah. The worst of <laughs> it. But I, I feel. So embarrassing. Yeah. Burrito eating challenge at Chipotle I, with Max and Nick Wright. Like, Jesus Christ. Dude, I used to get me fun. I got parties. How like, you're filming bicep curls in the gym. I would get made fun of at TCU. That's why I, I, I big reason why I transferred. It was yeah. like, I was filming. Yeah. I was, I was the guy, like people would be playing my videos, like jokingly, like, Oh, what do you, you know, what's the guy doing? Well, what's interesting is, is nowadays with influencers is it's, it's a normal thing to aspire to be an influencer, right? Yeah. Because you see whoever you're looking at. Now they're starting at 12, 13, 14 years old. Right. And well, you're seeing like the money that people are having, the success people are having and people start in the aspiration yeah. to make, make a, money. make, make, a make money out of it. And I think that's the wrong kind of way about it. And I think that's what's, I don't, I don't know if I say special about us, but it's unique about us because we, we're doing very well for ourselves now, but we started making content and money was just a very small thing and that started trickling I in. I want right? to say we're still like, for me, I'm, I don't need to be making YouTube videos to make money. The last yeah. three years proved that in growth, like a hundred percent. There's more on the plate than I can fucking take in. But with that said, I think I found that I love making content. I miss it. Like I need it. And, and like to, to me, like, because I enjoy it so much, like that's what the last year has taught me. Like really, like I've been looking forward to starting summer shredding and filming every, and every other day uploads. It's, that's intense. You told me that two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. I, w I wouldn't be able to handle it. Right. But it's like it, and it shows like with all the potential things I could be doing with whatever is it like I, I'm putting my time where I enjoy more, which I value that. Well, I, I think that's imp important is because people need to start something with like the, the, the goal is to create good content yeah. and money 
if that comes, that's great. And you, you're, the money increases because it's a byproduct of your energy that in time you're putting into the videos, mm -hmm. not like I'm only making videos to make money. And I think because we started so early, I mean, I don't know when you started making any sort of substantial money. Maybe when you started like the CG fitness, you started online coaching, right? I started making money in, I started 2012, right? I was at TC, or Texas TCU. And then that was all, you know, not making any money. And then I remember like the supplement store trips are fucking so hard to spend 150 bucks. <laughs> I would go, um, I would go twice a year to vitamin shop because twice you'd a year. You buy in bulk and shit, no, huh? They, they like, would have, they would have the buy one, get one 50% off sale. Yeah. I have an old video. I would buy like 14 tubs of protein at one time. Yeah. So I could get seven of them at 50% off. <laughs> like I'm, and I would, I would hide them behind my TV. You That's would what people, plan it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it, so like, so like m my money was not flowing in for me for a, a long, long time. Cause you, well, I remember I, I, I want to touch on the max full-time job thing. It took so much to convince this guy that he could make it and sustain himself without the full-time job. I started YouTube you hung on for, for three years. Yeah. And for, I think I stayed in that job for one extra year that I needed to. Yeah. It's because I wanted to track my finances. Mm -hmm. If there's one thing that I admire about you that I've always, that is that I think that you have the ability to dream bigger than anyone I've ever met in my life. Yeah. Ever, bro. Like actually ever. Because I don't know if it's I I doubt myself or something like that, but you have the ability to take a vision and you don't even like see failure as an option. No. And and it's and it's it's not only so inspirational to me, it is just it's mind blowing because I can't even wrap my head around how you can just go all in on these big things and have so little doubt in it. It's not like a Oh, Christian has a golden thumb and whatever he touches, you know, it turns to gold is because there's, there's a lot of risk, but I, w when it, when it pays off, I'm like, it's because he put in all this work and he believed in it yeah. and your ability to do that. And I just, I guess I, I lack that. Yeah. And that's what I lacked when I had that's my full-time job. That's why we compliment each other too, like a lot. Cause it's like, that's why we've been friends for so long. Cause we, we literally, we're kind of like opposite personalities in the sense. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I've never really met anyone like, that either like they kind of like I but I, I don't and I don't know why I there's a lot but I mean when I look at when I look around all I see is like what it's gonna look like in 12 years and I can't and, even and, and it's like what I want to do and I guess I, I'm so afraid to take jumps because I'm I'm so afraid that it'll fail and I can't and I always try to like put this facade on I'm like you can't fail you'll just learn lessons like you know if you fail it's a lesson you learn but yeah. I, dude I'm terrified a lot of time with a lot of that I do in life mm -hmm. even just getting when I stopped sharing warehouse space spaces with anyone and I got my own warehouse. Mm -hmm. Like actually terrified, bro. Like to the fact that it's all mine and the risk is all mine. Yeah. And but it's so I, I've always committed to that. And and it's very interesting how Christian and I I'm like, let's update the floors. It's gonna cost yeah, I know it's gonna cost a little bit of money. I want to get the polish on it. Yeah. We're gonna be here six months. It's fucking worth it. Come on, I know. let's do it. <laughs> and and so I, I think that's yeah. what helped we have such different personalities and I think that's what helped us become such good friends because we're very different from each other. Mm. I would classify myself as loud and animated and i i'm very i'll just put my head down and like i, I, I want to say like and just keep pushing keep going keep going kind of deal but max grounds me for sure like i'll never forget going to that mexican restaurant you and me mid outland mid outland build like i don't know a year and a half into the build mm -hmm. where i just hadn't gone to a restaurant in a year or so i hadn't i, I was either at the shack or at my house yeah and like Max was like, let's go get out of here. Let's go down the street and get some fucking quesadillas. I'm like, yeah. Okay. And he was like, what? Okay. You're going to come. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. It blew my mind. It, it, it was. Yeah. But no one else would like put that. No one would continually come to the office. Like every day to be like, I'm going to go get lunch. They would stop asking. Yeah. I got no's about 90% of the time. And probably more than. Yeah. That. But we, even during the whole, that whole process, we'd still like work out every single day or like at least five times a week. Or we would, even if I, if I was just like laying on the ground, like he'd still come work, and you know, just like yeah. the consistent, like you're very consistent. Yeah. I would say. Well, so because our friendship is, is so unique, we, we've gone through a lot together, right? Yeah. We've gone through the beginning of, oh yeah, we've, we've gone through the yeah. beginning. I don't know what that means. <laughs> we, we, we've gone through the beginning of your gym when you called me, because I think, I think you called me to ask advice because you were asking advice if not only the dumbbells you should get, but should I do this gym? Because I, I guess you thought that I had maybe like a business background because I was in business school oh, yeah. and you're asking like financially, yeah. like just questions. Um, and 
it was just, I was really honored to be asked or to be asked questions by you. And I think over time, we've gone through a lot of monumental things and especially the, the starting of Alpha Elite with you. Mm -hmm. And it was like the, just like the first expos and everything, like mm -hmm. the whole sponsorship gym shark thing, the quest thing. Then it goes to like the, the personal life, like breakup girlfriends yeah. shit. And then kind of like the whole first yeah, still gym, a little closer to the mic. The whole dude. first yeah. gym, the, the breakups, like the whole wave, right? We, we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot. Yeah. I mean, all of it, the go like ghost, that whole like beginning of that entire, mm -hmm. the whole supplement, like there, there didn't used to be just like supplement affiliates and shit like that. Like we, we literally were the first team to kind of get built and like do contracts and negotiate and like retainers and like all that kind of stuff. Like that was all fresh, um, do expos and like have seven hour lines, like show up, like no one can, no other. It was wild. It's wild. It's yeah. in times have changed and we've gone through a lot together and we're about to go through, I, I want to talk on something that it's, it's actually going to be a little more of a serious talk, mm -hmm. but before we do that, another shot. Well, it, it's not a shot. It's actually, the Don't Be Sour Game Show. No. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Pour this him is, up. Pour him up. This is something new that we're, we're, we're doing. Uh, you have the handwriting of a two-year-old, bro. You, have, you look like a two-year-old, dude. Okay, so I have two general knowledge trivia questions. Mm, not going to win this one. If you get them wrong, <laughs> yeah. you have to take a shot for right. each one. Okay. You're yeah, wrong. Yeah. I'm going to have if, no if cards you get, today. If you get it right, <laughs> if you get it right, I'll take the shot. Yeah. But here's the, golden, the, the silver lining. If you get both of them wrong, then I'll take one shot with you on the second one. All right, cool. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Christian Guzman, what are the seven oh. continents? Uh, you have North America, South America, uh, and Antarctica. You got Africa. You got um, Australia. You got Australia. Is that Africa? Uh, you have Europe and Asia. You got it right. Oh my, dude, I have to take a shot now. <laughs> I'm oh, kind of surprised. Dude, I, I, I almost said Alaska or something. <laughs> I, I forget, Antarctica, I forgot that one. Oh my God, okay. I, I'm i not gonna lie, I didn't think you'd get that. Uh, yeah. You know why? Because I don't think I'd get that. Didn't, bro, do you remember we would print off the the US map and, and take, like we would make bets. Like I bet I fucking know more states than you know. We'd print out maps <laughs> and go and write the states in the maps. You remember that? What were we doing? Like, then we'd go to Spire and get drunk. Oh, weird times. Yeah. yeah, weird times. Second question. Yeah. I hope you don't get this right. Okay. <laughs> um, you had a little bit of trouble with the first one. You, you were second guessing yourself on a little bit. So I'm going to give you a little hint on the second one. Mm -hmm. um, who fought in the Civil War? I'm going to give you a hint. Mm -hmm. The red coats are coming. The red coats are coming. Uh, wasn't it civil as the U.S.? The, the two in the U.S. Uh, civil war the north and the south what were they called confederate in the um Gee, christian got both confederate in the union is that right i mean the confederacy confederacy yeah dude i this back this plan backfired me this plan this is terrible but actually that was easy civil war yeah uh not world war a civil war well dude yeah it's revolves are reverse because you got both of them right that now you have to take one shot. Oh man! Since I have to take two, if I everyone's if a I winner and everyone's win a loser show because of this one shot, oh, that's I won't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta choose harder questions, or just find dumber people, dude. Ooh, Whew. okay. Oh. Hey, speaking of your show, have you ever won a show? <laughs> God damn! Yes, I have. When did like I win? First, like first place, twenty in eighteen. Were you? Were there more than one person in the class? Yes, twenty eighteen. I won in twenty nineteen. I won against Shawley. What do you like? You beat Shawley? No, I got fourth. <laughs> <laughs> but me, it was like me and him were like, yeah, pretty. It's just different looks, you know. Mm -hmm. And you don't know who the hell's gonna show up. Why do you like competing so much when it's so much? an opinion of a judge. Oh, I, I don't give a fuck if I actually win though. Like that's why. I'd... Yeah. But how, how do you like with powerlifting, for example, you can quantify, I got stronger or I didn't. Did you get, but I feel like you you, bigger or than last time. And were you more lean? Or did yeah. Your... But do you think it gets in your head of like, my chest is definitely more developed than it was last year. Or in reality, 
you just, you were shredded, you got big, and now you're shredded again, and you look the same, but, but it, you but, think you do. But I don't look, so I like, that's why I like go look at the old videos and stuff, because like, bro, like if you go look at 2019's prep, 2018, like yeah. there's such a difference. And like, I, I, I did summer shredding from 2014 or 15. Yeah. Every single year, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. One, one diet a year, right? Mm -hmm. And so, like, those years, I was maybe putting on, like, I don't know, three pounds, of, of my, like, three to four pounds added to my, like, stage weight every year. Mm. But now, this year, because I took three years from competing, right? Three years off, didn't step on stage, didn't really diet. Now, I'm probably going to be, like, 182, which is about 15 pounds heavier than I was last time I competed. Over three years, five pounds a year. Do you think you're going to win this show? No. Well, dude, it's like why? <laughs> uh, well, it, it, it's the Dallas Pro. It's like uh, it's like, but I'm, I'm doing the amateur. Why don't day. you go to like the South uh, well, Dakota I, I amateur? Went to Omaha, bro. That's the one I won. <laughs> I went to Omaha. And okay. I won that one. Okay, and you know, not a lot of people showed up. Yeah, that was a really uh, quick show. <laughs> but this one's like a huge show. It's like there's a pro day and the amateur day. So but I'm you don't care about going pro. No, I, I don't. I don't think I have like so a do, men's do you physique. Do you do it? Physique. You do it for the discipline. I do it to. Because it makes me focus on fitness, which I, I find I, that's my favorite part about my job. And I, dude, I feel like, I mean, you've changed so many people's lives because of your prep, because of yeah, this as serious. much as I joke about with summer shredding and stuff and like rag on it and the whole like shredded mindset, like you truly change people's lives yeah. with you, with literally the summer shredding thing. And the, well, the challenge is like this summer shredding is like, how the hell am I going to find a way to balance it? How am I going to, how am I going to run everything? I didn't, I didn't think you were going to, you didn't think I was going to, there's yeah. two things I didn't, I, I one, I never thought Alpha was going to get completed. No, I'm just kidding. I knew that was going to get completed. No, I, I, I did not think you were actually going to compete again because I thought you lost all your, not your muscle, but all your passion yeah. for that. I thought you were so far in because I, dude, I, for a while, like, dude, I felt like I lost my friend, like yeah. for when you were in your, this shack out here yeah. building this place, I was like, I think I'm losing my best friend because yeah. I, I go in and I felt like for a lot of times that I'd go in and I almost felt like, uh, like I was interrupting your day, yeah. like checking in yeah. like, and I was, I almost like stopped a little bit and I was like, well, the truth is like at the, at the time it's like at, at a point it's like anything the the most kind hearted gesture would be interrupting the day. No, it, and, and I understand when that much pressure and, was on it, it's like, but I would always tell you like, bro, just wait, like just wait. Cause like as soon as like this, this time or this time, it's like, Things are going to be back to normal. Yeah. When I compete, I compete. You know, I'm going to flip the switch. I, so I didn't think like, you could. I didn't think you were going to start compete, and I did not think you were going to start uh, back on YouTube. Day, every other day uploads. No, no, I didn't. I thought you were going to just give up on YouTube because yeah. because I, 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 cause I, cause you, I could. You stopped, you stopped making YouTube videos. Yeah. And Alphalete, which is your primary source of Growing. everything, it continued to grow. Yeah. And, and in my head, here's another thing that, you know, it's a difference of how you structure your business. I'm t one big thing I think is I'm terrified of ever stopping social media mm. because I'm, a, I think that everything is so tied with my name that if I stop, I'm going to lose everything. So yeah. it's like, it, it's almost in this hamster wheel. Like I have to keep making videos and I'm like, Christian has managed to Christian stopped for eight months and Alpha lead is doing better than it's ever done. I will say I've, I've always taken, so I've always taken little, I've always taken breaks. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a big believer in like, see, I, I fear that if I take breaks, I'll lose everyone. No, no, no. I mean, this is where we're different. It's like, I, I'm a very like, if you take something away from somebody or don't give it to them all the time, then they're going to value it more. If you do it. And if you, if, if you kind of play every, every time before I would start summer shredding, cause I knew the series would be like really intense and good and like engaging. Mm -hmm. I would take like literally, if you remember like, three, two, three, four months off sometimes yeah. and go completely dark. Yeah. Completely dark and just build up like March 15th. We no, begin. I, I agree with like I taking things away. are important. Because then people really want it. Like a lot of times for like, like we, launching. Dude, well, for, for like weeks, dude, I'll, I'll tell Taylor, my girlfriend, she can't have any food. And then, you know, weeks later, I'm like, you can finally, <laughs> you can't have any dick. <laughs> dude, yeah, I'm not even giving this shit to you. And she's like, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, but that, that's how, I think that that is how human psychology works. That, that's like I think you can't always you literally cannot you shouldn't always have what you want or else you're not going to want it. People want what they can't have. Uh, all and the apparently time, people wanted endlessly. your shredded physique. They wanted the consistency and they wanted the value. Like, yeah. I, but like, I know what I can provide with the right people, the right help and stuff. But it's like 
until I, I couldn't do, I couldn't physically do anything until this was open because I'd be bleeding and bleeding money. Yeah, like I, I couldn't keep bleeding money. I, I, I had to put that to an end first before. No, I, and I get it. And and when I say I felt like I was losing my friend, I it's like I understood it, but I hated it. Like I like I literally hated this fucking property because I was like, my friend that I see multiple times a yeah. week now I see for two minutes and I feel like I'm a nuisance in his day, and yeah. I, I've and I've, you're the only one coming by. Every, so get, every day I, I come work yeah. out. I'd be like, do you want to work out? I like, can't. And then I'm like, all right. And I come in and be like, how's things? You're like, good. And then like, you'd start getting so stressed. And I was good, like, dude, I feel good, like but not good. Like, yeah. it's like probably not good to ask. Cause like in that same with, with Heidi too, man. Like, I mean, every, every day I'd go home and be like, or even, even now it's like, I ask how, you know, how her day was telling me about it. But like when she asked how my day it was, even today, tomorrow, like I, I don't like to repeat my day yeah. or, or go through it because like, I just wanted not. I want to hear, I want to hear what we got. Like, yeah. Please distract me. I mean, bro, please I mean, give me, tell me what, what you're doing. Like, I, just, I don't want to go through my shit again. This building is like your true legacy. Like the biggest thing you've ever done. And to be honest, dude, for a long time, I mean, I had a lot of people, people literally thought for a short like a period of time. That's you crazy. Were, crazy. Like actually, I, I'm crazy guy. Like crazy. Not like he's insane. Like they thought you needed help. Yeah. Like yeah. they thought you needed help. And then you were, you were going like act like clinically insane. Yeah. And to be honest, like I, 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 I was like, no, like Christian knows what he's doing. Like Christian, Christian's got it. And everyone would tell me all these, like all these stories about how like yeah. crazy you were. Yeah. And I've never in my life, I've heard about these people that have been like, this guy works insane. I've never in my life experienced that until I've met you during this time. Yeah. Christian, I. Not a lot of people are, are ever going to see me in that phase again. Though. I don't want you to ever go through that. I, I, don't, I, I walked I don't in and Christian through. would tell me. He would say, he's like, I have not slept in over 48 hours. And what's crazy is I believed him. Yeah. Like he would, you would go days without sleeping. And I was like, I was like, Christian, like you're killing yourself. I know, over the, but I, and I would say, I know. And, and, and knowing this is almost, it's almost. And like, that's the difference with you because yeah. you had this vision. You had this vision of this, this place. It's the vision, but it's, it's also, I want to say like, it's, it's. It is the true fact that if I did not get my shit together and finish making new orders and working on Alpha Elite, like yeah. the building wasn't the hard part. The hard part was being sure like Alpha Elite was like, cause we're 18, we're, we're 12 to 24 months, like always ahead. We're always ahead yeah. of the production. So like in order to make the launches and the big cash influxes that we're seeing now, that means that 18 months ago when I was mid peak build of, of this property and just taking all of that on, like literally spending probably close to four to five hundred thousand dollars a month with no income, with no income on that of this building of the building, and putting all my money into future athlete products that are going to come. It's because you fucking believe, bro. Your, it is, but it's also like there, like there was a under like the reason I could stay up for that long is because the money will run out if I don't fucking do my shit. Yeah. No one else is going to do. It. I don't have any help. So it's like it, if it doesn't get done, the reality is this will. It will fail because I can, I will physically not be able to fucking afford it. Yeah. And then you get hit with a, a fucking high seven, eight figure tax bill. Yeah. And you're like, that's not right. Fucking let, let's open that book. Like, it's just, uh, it's when the pressure is truly on, you'll be surprised how well you can perform and how hard you can push yourself when the that's pressure is actually on in the bedroom, you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Okay. So dude, so, Al, you know, before Alpha Land, there was Alpha Elite. And mm -hmm. I'm not going to get into, how'd you start Alpha Elite, yeah. Christian? And I, I already know that. The whole point of the dude, I'm learning a lot from like this because like, I feel like. Well, I started Alpha Elite because of, really, you, 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 I don't know if you ever, I did a podcast with Shoddy Fit Design. And mm -hmm. I, I talked about this part, but you're, no, no, no. you're a huge fucking reason of and why I, wanna, I started Alpha I want to talk about that yeah. because you said something in that, in that podcast yeah. that you've never told me before. Yeah. How you said no. You, and that dude, I got so many messages oh, really? that day. So Christian in that podcast so, said that he asked me for my supplier and I said, no. And you were like, I'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chris, I remember that happening and we have never talked about that yeah. because of that. I, I never knew that that was a, a, a point in your life. And and then I, when people started attacking me, like literally attacking me, like over my oh, DMs shit. and stuff, people like, I can't believe you, like you, Christian is your best friend. You never gave him your supplier. And I had to go back to that point in my life because that was what, 2015? Yeah. I had to go back and I was like, wait, 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 wait a second. No, I was, before, oh. It was like, yeah, it was like 2014, man. Cause like, 
Right. No, no. Yeah. Exactly. We, yeah. I, I launched nope. Alphalete 2015. Right. February. Okay. So I had to go back and remember because I was like, oh, there's no, I was like, I would do anything for my friend. Like, I don't understand. Like, yeah. like why, why did I say no? And I started thinking about it. And at first I, st- my, my mindset was kind of what I would tell people now. I'm like, the information's out there. I want you to learn all of this stuff. But then I remembered, I remembered why I said no. And this was the first time I've told you this. It's because, so when I started Ever Forward, I went overseas with the manufacturing, yeah. right? And when, like you said in that, in that episode, that I'm not saying I was the first because I don't know if I, w- I was, but like in, in the YouTube world, like everyone, you, no one- You were the first influencer to make custom apparel. Right. And, 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 I'll, and yeah. I don't know if I've, I've ever talked about this, but the reason I did that is because Peter with Ape Athletics, mm. yep. Ape, he, yeah. he started, he was not an influencer, but he, Ape Athletics was overseas manufacturer. And they had, I remember they had the collar on the shirts that was like inverted. The collar on the shirts, yeah, the, the, so. the hang tags, yeah. the custom neck tags. And that was mind blowing to me. And I'm going to say this is. Which was derived from Gymshark. Gymshark was the very Hunt, first correct. one. And then Ape kind of. Correct. Yeah. And, and, and my mindset with Ever Forward was, I was like, I'm going to be the first YouTuber. I don't know if I was. I don't know if I was. I think you were. But I was like, I'm going to be the first one to go that route of, I'm a, I'm a real clothing brand and I'm going to get overseas manufacturing, custom fabric, custom yeah. measurements, right? You were, uh, you were as, as a YouTuber. You, you were. So th- this is what it is. So. When, when you asked me and I said mm-hmm. no, the reason that I said no, and it's not to throw anyone under the bus, is when I first had the idea, I asked Peter, mm-hmm. I, said, I said, Peter, like these Wiki. shirts with Ape, <laughs> Wiki, my supplier's name is Wiki, it used to be Yuki. But when I asked Peter with Ape Athletics, I was like, hey, can I have your supplier? He, t- he said no, and he said it was, that's just like people don't share that information. And I didn't, pro- I didn't process it as a your oh my God, like you're not giving me this. You think you're better. You don't want me to succeed. So it, I need to thank I, Peter. No, no, no. Well, no, well I, I get that. It's I, I, I thought it was a, I thought it was just like the standard, like people don't, because. Th- well, they don't. N- not, only, not only did I, did I, I only knew you for a short period of time. Asked. No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, it, it, no. I should have given it to you, honestly. But I, I thought that was just the norm because no one had gone overseas before. So when he told me, he's like, hey, people don't share that information. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. So then I researched it. And when you asked me, I just kind of gave you the same answer that Peter did was like, people like, no, no, no like, I, I can't, I can't, I yeah, can't, yeah. I can't. What's your secret sauce? Yeah. Like, and, it, and, it, and, just, and it wasn't because I thought that you were going to like take my supplier. I don't know. I just had the mindset of like, someone told me no. So I told the next person no. Yeah. And that's what it was. Yeah. And now I, I think it, and on hindsight, in hindsight, I think it helped everyone because it made you learn about manufacturing it, it made me not, learn not that you pro- wouldn't have it made me learn the whole process no 100 it, it made me go through the manual like okay let me go to alibaba.com yeah let me type in what i'm looking for let me message four or five people let me like go th- you have to go through the process and that's the thing i like, know i feel like a lot of the even newer like the new generation doesn't wrap their head around is that you have to go through the steps because you don't, not that you have to, you can always like find, you know, cheat codes or whatever to kind of skip ahead and get to point from point A to point B. Yeah. But along that process, you learn so much. Do you want to know something that I've never, I don't think I've ever told you? Yeah. We, you were dating someone else at the time. Yeah. We all went to a bar when I came to visit. So I came to visit Christian in late 2014. We went to the bar. You went to the bathroom mm-hmm. and your significant other at the time I don't know where I'm just, I'm just standing there. She turns to me and says, you better fucking give Christian to your manufacturer. Like, and, and I, I was like, <laughs> what? She's like, she's like, you fucking better give him your manufacturer. I can totally see that like, going down. 100%. And I literally was like, I, I, it's just, I don't think you do share yeah. that. And, and it, it was crazy. And then like, you're like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. But it, it was crazy. Like you, you never told me that about like Alpha Leap. You, yeah. you never told me that because I said, I don't know. It, it actually, when you, when I heard that on the podcast, I was like, holy shit. Like I didn't know that I forgot about that. Yeah. I forgot about that. And, and it's a big, like I've, I've actually like very recently had a lot of friends ask me for, and now like my answer is, and it's kind of like, you would, like, like sure. how you to say, <laughs> you just said yes. It's like, my answer is like, Yes, let me hook you up. Let me hook you up with who I think could mm-hmm. be great for what you're trying to do. Yeah, and that's just like because I want to help everybody. But at the same time, what it comes down to, I don't mind giving the info now or whatever because it's like 
It's completely up to the person if they're going to capitalize. To be on honest, that. now, now you can try. what I think like, is is it's on you. I not only do I want people to succeed or whatever, but I guess in my mindset is like for you, for example, if you're and I, th- I think we, we have with a lot of my friends of like, whether it be like stickers or boxes, right? You're like, hey, I want to make some promo boxes. I'm like, I have the perfect person for you. Here, take this person. I think like like Heidi for all of her Buff Bunny boxes uses the same manufacturer as my boxes because I gave it to her. Yeah. And because I'm just like, skip all the skip all the, the steps. Here's the person. Yeah. They're perfect, right? And I think nowadays when someone asks, who's your supplier? The first thing that goes to my head. I have 17. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have that many. But the first thing goes to my head is like, if you're asking that, I don't think you're into the business enough not. because you would have done enough research to learn how to find a supplier because yeah. there's one thing about Christian and myself that is, is how, how many, you can't even count the amount of times that people of an expo have been like, I want to start a business. What's your advice? I want to start, I'm thinking about a start of YouTube. What's your advice, right? Yeah. It's, You've heard that. It's like, yeah. And did you or myself, have you ever when you wanted to start a YouTube channel, did you ask anyone how to, like, what do I do to start a YouTube channel? No. You look when, at someone who's doing it. You figure out, like, what are they doing? How are you they? Just start you just started. You started, yeah. It's like, okay, he looks like, and I would see, okay, maybe he's using, that looks like a Sony cam, yeah. handy cam. Let me go to Sony. Let me look at what they're doing. Exactly. And, and I, I think that the people that ask such basic questions, are, I'm thinking about starting a YouTube. Thinking. I'm like, if you're thinking, yeah. I don't think you're ready to start. No. Because if, if you really wanted to do it, you would just do it. Yeah. And that message right there, the fact like it, that can sum up when you speak to someone and you kind of like get a feel for what, like how they're taking a conversation, like their initiative and like, are they looking at you? Like, are they like, you can tell a lot about a person with how they, and there's their actions. Like if they say that, if they do what they're going to say, they'll do mm-hmm. if, and, and it takes two, three times to like figure I, I can work with someone for literally maybe a week yeah. and know if they'll be a permanent person for athlete for the next 10 years yeah. or not. Dude, to be honest, when I used to come to expos and people would tell me all the time about, I want to start a YouTube. If someone talks to me for f- five minutes, I can tell whether or not- Five, two. Like if, if two you, you have it, like yeah. if, if you got the thing. Yeah, you can tell in the first minute. Yeah, just like whether it be like the personality, the way they talk, the way that they per- perceive, yeah. like I can, I can tell if you have it or not. Within a minute. And that's why I, t- I told Jesse, like Jesse James, like yeah. I, just him, man, there's a lot of people that, you meet that just, you see their brain working, bro. Mm-hmm. You see like, you, you see like if you, okay, if you give this kid an opportunity, like he's not just going to come in and be a thing for a bit. It's like that person's going to fucking take it and keep going. That's yeah. how you are. That's how I am. That, and, and it's, it's just the truth because it's like, we, we're not going to stop. And it's crazy because, you know, starting YouTube has evolved our lives so much in terms of whether it be clothing, whatever. Mm-hmm. And what actually turns into, I don't know, this first episode of this podcast is actually sponsored by the way. Oh, by who? <laughs> We're making some money. You ready for this? Oh, it's wow. just at Alpha Lead Athletics. <laughs> no, it, it's actually sponsored by 3D. Oh, yeah. And, and uh, Odilia. Odilia. And Sour Strips. Oh, man. Wow, look at that. And, and this is something that I want to talk about because... We're a terrible palette together. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Christian's a color snob now. He's, 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 he's like, ah, the shades of this don't really go with all of this stuff. They really don't. It's all right. It's all right. So what I want to... I actually... so. You starting 3D is what inspired me to start Sour Strips. Like a physical product to go into. And, and, and I, and I want to kind of go back a little bit to 3D mm-hmm. because I want to learn. Because first of all, Christian was, you were the, the energy drink monster guy. monster connoisseur. And like, this, is how, yeah. this is how, like I was literally influenced you the, by you. And you were the candy guy. I, I was. Yeah. But I was influenced by you because I would watch your videos. This is before, maybe before we before even you met. Moved, before you Christian, moved. you would always go to the store and you get these white monsters. Yeah. And this is how literally influencing works you would always get these white monsters, white yeah. monster, white monster, white monster. And then, so when I'm at the store and I see it, I'm like, that's that drink that this guy on YouTube mm-hmm. always drinks. Let me see. And I tried drinking it and I was like, this is really good. Yeah. And you were the energy drink guy. People would bring me cases in cases. In ca- I would go to an expo and come mm-hmm. like literally have probably like a stack four foot high of monster, white and, monster cases. And, and what do people bring me at expos? Candy, like like sour piles yeah. of candy, yeah. piles of candy, yeah. sour patch kids, rips, like all yeah. this candy, all this were good. They were like, they were up there. They were, they were, they were and then there. they kind of changed a little bit. Yeah. But so I want to go back a little bit. You, you started energy drink and I don't know if you can talk about it, but you started as, can you talk about the uh, up 3d? Yeah. yeah, you yeah, can yeah talk okay. 100%. So, so you started with up yeah. energy and 
why, first of all, why did you choose the name up? Uh, simplicity. Okay. Like literally like caffeine brings you up kind of deal. And I don't know if you guys know this, but Christian got into a $380,000 spent on lawsuit. Really? He, yeah. So Christian got a legal battle because he got a cease and desist from a company called Uptime. Uptime. Yep. Now here's the question that I have from you, Christian, because uh, you know, me being one of your uh, super close friends, yep. when you got that lawsuit, I, I guess I had never heard of Upstart, but when I, when I saw it in my eyes, I was like, Christian, why the fuck? Yeah. Would you have called your company up when yeah. there's an upstart? When you, you, he, he had the twist, he had the, the three sealable cap. It looked identical. Why did you, why did you do like? So the thought process is always like in the, did you know the, of the, com I, I, the honest truth? I did not know of that company. Uh -huh. The honest truth. Well, is I, to like, be honest, it, I had never heard of it before. It, it, even I, with our, this is the first time hearing this, like on the, but even our new A logo, right? I got it trademarked. I've been, I've had that thing for fucking five years. Uh -huh. Right. And, and, but I can't, I'm not going to be using it too much moving forward in the long term because of something that is pretty and I just had no fucking idea. Even though I got the trade, it's just like- This is something new? Uh, yeah. So yeah, your new yeah. Alpha Lee logo? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, it'll be like getting some adjustments and shit like that. But it's cause, it's cause I'm trying to learn from my mistakes and stuff. And it's like one of these things where like you, I don't ever look at anything around. I literally wanted to make an energy drink, but what, what, what's special about it? So I wanted to find a way to keep it cold because the monsters would get warm so quick, yeah. right? And I wanted to find a way to reseal it, maybe save it for later. Cause I, I, I wouldn't really finish a whole can just like I don't now. Like, right. So I wanted to find a more premium bottle and it turns out there's really only like a few options of yeah. different, you know, there's like three shapes that you can get for like a premium bottle. So that was, that was literally it. So it's like, and then the whole up thing, it's like after spending 300, just like measuring dicks, just like who, because, because they were, that's why did you try to compete with a company that clearly had the upper hand in terms of like, well, they, they're, they were a supplement. They're, they're, they're like a focus supplement. Oh, right, right, they're right. not an energy drink. Okay. That's a category. So it's a beverage versus a, a, a health supplement. Is That's how they market it. So there's like different nutrition. Like there was, yeah. there was a very strong argument. And it's like my sales were strictly online mm -hmm. and at the time. And like they, they weren't, they were just like in stores. So after like kind of here, like there was the, like I just didn't want to like go back on what I said I was going to do. So if I set up, I wanted to stick with up, mm -hmm. but oh. after spending some, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me just, like, I had the realization. Let me just tell YouTube what's going on. Change it. And when I did, and we just switched to a can, everyone loved it because they love the story. It is a continuation of the story, support it. Now we're doing six times what we did is up. I'm not going to lie. When you started the energy, energy, energy so hard business. company. No, I, I thought you were, cr this is, it goes back to how you have these big visions because at the time, now I have a different mindset, right? But when you started, I was like, bro, no, no, YouTube, we can only stay in like clothing, bro. Clothing is yeah, all we yeah. can do. That's a real product that goes into stores. Mm -hmm. How are you going to do that? You're a YouTuber. Yeah. And when you started it, that's what gave me the motivation to start Sour Strips. Yeah. And so when you did it and it, and it took off, it bro, and, and that is like, this is how much impact you've had in my life, man. Like not only one of the inspirations of starting my YouTube, mm. um, just a lot of ventures in life. Me moving to Texas was 100% yeah. influenced by you. Yeah. I, I was I, selling it every time you come down and be like, bro, look what we got. I have so much, leave a comment down below. If you guys want, we, I mean, you're, you got to come back because dude, yeah, yeah. I wrote these stuff down because I didn't know if I'd be able to like, I don't know. I was so nervous to talk to like my best friend about stuff. And I did, there's so much that I still want to talk about. Yeah. We're gonna have to have you back. But anyway, um, like you've just inspired my life so much and of every business venture that I've done. And to be honest, a lot of things, I think throughout my life, I almost, I don't want to say I lived in your shadow, but I've since, I guess I kind of started taking off on YouTube. This is, I'm talking like 50,000 subscribers, mm -hmm. like a long time ago, 2015, right? Um, I've had people my entire life telling me that like, I'm only, you know, uh, successful because of Christian. I'm only this because of Christian. Mm. And, you know, I've, I like to look at you as someone that has been like a mentor to me in terms of my business and stuff, because you not only you're one of my best friends is, is your someone that has mentored me in terms of like how to kind of navigate my life for success. Mm. And that's, what's like, yeah, I don't think you without uh, even without trying to mentor. It's not a mentor. No, and, and like that's a, what I'm saying. Like, like I don't think you realize like yeah. the impact you have on your close friends 
and just the people around you and, the, and on YouTube and the people that you inspire on your videos. And it's just wild, to be honest. Thank you. And yeah, bro, like literally, mm-hmm. like, and, that, and that's why when, when people say like, you know, your, your success is only because of Christian, I do, I give so, so, so what, much what, of my what, success what th- to you. I appreciate that. But like at the end of the day, like, I, I'll never forget, like at the very beginning, some expos and stuff like that. I remember like, you know, it being like whatever, 70, 30, kind of, kind of like between me and actually like literally pulled the whole expo. No, no, wait, wait, right? hold on. I, I, have to, I have to interrupt here. There, there, it was so funny because Christian would always be uh, the person. So it'd be like the, the, the line <laughs> and then it'd be me and then Christian, right? Mm-hmm. And so Christian would always get backed up. And whenever, <laughs> whenever like there'd be people talking and like they couldn't keep pushing the line forward because people were waiting to talk to you, there'd be someone like I talked to my last person and then I'd go to the next one. I'd be like, like, hey, what's up? And they're like, I'm here to see Christian. And I was like, all right, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do, I would have a lot of people that come up to me like, oh, like you, you're the guy in his videos. And I was like, I got a YouTube channel too. <laughs> yeah. It, but it, what I was going to say and, and go with that is like that, that's how it kind of started. But at the, at the end of like anybody who's coming up, it's always going to be something of that sort of scenario. But now Max holds it. He outsells me in sponsorships. He out, (laughs) he outsells me, but it's because, and he has more like just as literally just as many, or if not more people coming up to, to, to you and and at any event we go do. And it's literally like a dead, even split in my opinion. And it's it's because it's because like the, I think naturally like there's different characters, there's different Netflix shows on fucking Netflix. It's like, and there's different personality and like you have a very likable personality and shit. I feel like for me, it's almost like, I don't know. It's just, it's different. And so, but I think there's, there's no like higher over the other at all. It's literally, it, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's just, it's evolved. For it's sure. insane. But no matter what, I'll, I'll always, I, I would not be where I'm at in my life if I never met you. And, 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 and every, every Alphaland tour or Alphalet tour, I've been like the ever forward beat up. Yeah, no, like, and, 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 I, and like, I, uh, I think every interaction with every single person ever, yeah. like, you know, I think it was Rob Lipset one time we were in Ibiza, Ibiza, mm. and we were standing, that we were standing in this villa. It's because you never want to leave Sugarland, but we were standing in this villa and he said something that always kind of resonated with me because he said, Max, he's like, every decision that we've made in our life has gotten us to this point right here. He says that a lot when he drinks, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's definitely he's told me that a lot when of he drinks. drinks. <laughs> but but it, it, it's, it's so true, man. It, yeah. It's so true because, you know, while you've been such a huge impact on me, just everything in life has gotten me to this point, has gotten you to this point. And I like to, I would not be where I'm at, where I'm at without you. And, but I like to at least feel that some sort of percentage of the decisions that you've made in your life have been impacted by the friendships that you've been surrounded by and hopefully better influenced by a percentage of me. A hundred percent. And it, it's just, it's, it's wild how our lives have kind of, kind of. We're, we're tied for life, bro. Yeah. yeah like for life. You know? and, and, yeah. And it's interesting how we started as YouTubers and have evolved into business and we're not even the create we're not partners or we're not like we have nothing to do with each other's business yet but yeah. um it's interesting just like we've always kept that separate and i think that's a big part of why things just continue to go so, because i'm i genuinely i'm interested in like tell me about what, what what's up in your life it, because like it, as soon as you start meshing things too much that it really becomes an issue that's one thing that i've tried to do with any of my friendships but with, with you specifically is we've never we've never gone into a business venture together. And I think that's almost a conscious decision by both of yeah. us because we want to make sure that we, not that we couldn't succeed in anything, but I, I, we don't want to mesh that. Yeah. We, we, we don't want to, there's been business. I'm not going to talk about it specifically, but there's businesses that you've wanted to start that you're like, Max, I want you to be an athlete for this. Yeah. Whatever. We'll match whatever salary, yeah. whatever. And, and my first thought is I don't ever want you to like pay me money to, like which, which I, I don't want to be an employee yeah, of yours. Yeah, yeah no, hundred percent. Yeah, and and because I feel like it's going to ruin our friendship. Yeah, and oh, I feel like yeah. that's why our friendship is so strong because we don't we, we keep our friendship our friendship and we don't mesh our business. And it's also strong because we prioritize like it's easy to um, I guess just like anytime Matt like it, you, even no matter how busy you are whatever's going on for the day it's like you have to put time in your day for like literally like friends, like just like, yeah. it, like, it, I don't know. It's, it's easy to kind of it's like during the alpha and build, it's like every minute I'm fucking not doing this. I'm like losing this, 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 but it's like, you have to just like say, shut the fuck up to yourself and just like invest into the relationships that you, that are showing you investment that they're, like, that they're putting time into. Yeah. You know I mean? And there's not probably like two, three friends where I'm not, not much, yeah. but, but it's like, 
that it's a two way street kind of deal. It, it, bro, like a lot of I don't know if a lot of people know this, but even so, when when Christian started Alpha Land, you the fir, when Christian found this building, he said he said to, to Shawley, to me, he's like, I want you guys in this building. I want you like, how much space do you need? How much of that? So when Christian started any venture, he immediately first thought of his friends. Mm. It wasn't like. I was like, dude, please let me be in this building. You were like, I want you in this building. Mm. I want, I, how much space do you need? I'll allocate and figure that out. And fast forward, there's no friend discount that I get on this building. Yeah. Well, like, my, my, well, the, what we're charging for other spaces, like, yeah. Right? What? Yeah. Oh, wait, bro, there's this yeah. building? Oh, yeah. I'm paying a lot. <laughs> Christian's paying a lot. I'm paying a lot. I yeah. thought I wasn't getting any. <laughs> No, I'm not getting a friend discount in this building. For in, the, in this for, per square foot per month, what we could charge for? Yeah, I don't know, but it's, but it's okay. I couldn't afford if oh, if that's a friend discount. I couldn't afford if there wasn't a friend <laughs> discount. <laughs> but I, I I think the way that we've stayed so close is that we've kind of separated our business yeah. and everything. And I think we've run a lot of things by each other. I don't know how much I've impacted you in your, your life and your business decisions because you're very. Uh, I'm going to do it anyway. Going to do it anyway. Yeah. I'm very, I need the reassurance from someone around me that I should do it. Yeah. I'm going to admit that. And you've been the person to do that. And, and, and you've impacted a lot. I don't know if people know this, but the sour, even like yeah. something like the sour strip. Like, don't do it. Don't, don't, do, don't put that logo out. <laughs> <laughs> when I first, uh, you know, created the sour strips logo, it was just much different looking than this. And I, and we literally were about to hit print on all I think of this. You, bags. You are, you're already like, you know, it's too late. So I'm like, bro. Just, yeah. Just and I went into Christian, he changed all of this. And this is Christian's adjustment right here. Like the sour ships wording logo, the way that this is wor- black. Like, yeah. In the back. Yeah. Yeah. This is the final via Christian. And you've just had so much impact in my life, bro. Like that. I, I don't think I can ever, Besides just trying to be the best friend that I can to you, yeah. I don't think I can ever repay you for the amount that you've changed my life. Because yeah. you've, I moved to Texas yeah. to like, be, because of you. Like be, because, because of this. And it's just, it's crazy, man. It is it just, we haven't never talked like this. It's like, it is crazy. Yeah. It's, and now like just thinking, like come on a Saturday and see how many people that are here have moved to Texas because of this I, stuff. I don't, th- I don't think it's you... Insane. I don't even realize how much impact you have on everyone's life. Yeah. Christian built a gym in the middle of a place. No one wants to go yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> railroad tracks. because Christian doesn't want to leave the town that he grew up in. Yep. <laughs> and so he decided I'm going to create something that is so captivating that everyone in the country and the world is going to want to travel to a place that there's no other reason to come here. And none of my friends will want to have to go downtown anymore to go to the bar because I, I, I don't like going downtown. <laughs> have you ever thought about how amazing that is? You, you, like you're bringing people to an area that the only thing that is going on this area, I love Stafford, Missouri City, Sugarland, but like, <laughs> yeah. but like people from around the world are traveling to Missouri City, Texas, yeah. to come to a gym. I was going to do the hotel. Remember? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the, that's the, crazy. The, it's just the impact you you've had in this game has been like life changing and it's, it's been revolutionary. And I think every influencer should, I don't know, dude, you pave the way. Just, it's like, I think everyone who ever kind of wants to look up to any of the stuff that's happened for me or you, it's like, just remember that it take things take time. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to take some leaps, some jumps. You have to have confidence. You have to like, at the end, you can ask as many opinions. I, I like asking opinions. Actually, yeah. like, I do. I ask a shit ton of opinions. Yeah. Right. And, but after that, it, the biggest thing that has to happen is that you have to believe that out of everything you gathered, you can decide on which, what you think is best and take action on it. If you can't do that, then I don't want to say you're not going to be whatever, but you're not successful or whatever, but like that is going to, the more you can develop yourself and you're like, self-belief which can start with something small but like it just becomes bigger and bigger and bigger yeah and like that's a trickle down effect and i think um again like if you would have told me yes here's my person who knows where we would be right now my yeah. factory you know, who knows because like that was my biggest thing that taught me so much about the whole brand and all that you know so it's yeah crazy i taught chris jones how to make a shopify store what yeah 
What do you mean? That's why he wanted me to come to Dallas. And he, he, we, I, I, got him, I got on my computer and showed him like how to make his coaching and like just Shopify and right. all that. So, uh, yeah, just kind of crazy. It's all like we all help each other, man. No, I, th- I think I think you just had a, a crazy impact, crazy impact on my life. And to be honest, man, I do. I have like so much more that I planned on talking about with mm-hmm. you. Um, I think we're probably at an hour, right? Yeah, yeah we're like so bad. You just pee so bad, oh, bro. Yeah, just go, bro. Just right now, just in your chair and just let it flow. But yeah, I, I, th- I think we'll actually kind of like wrap up this first episode here. I think, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, man. Like I, I was, again, super nervous to have this conversation. Can I only- the reg- light, It's the lights, bro. It's well, lights. regardless of like having to host this sort of podcast that I've never done, but I, dude, it, it, it's been great having this conversation with you because this is the longest conversation- We've had during- we, This is the deepest like kind of conversation we've had in oh, 100%, a ever. long time. Yeah, ever. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and it's good. And it's good. And hopefully you guys want to see them, you know, more on the podcast. Where, where can they find all? I, I like to talk as if they have no idea who you are, dude. So because you're episode one. Yeah. Where can they, where can they find everything? Uh, plug anything? Plug anything. So I'll be competing on June 18th, right? So you can expect, literally, we're, we're about to bump up to daily uploads going into show coming soon so if you want to follow the like some really really awesome youtube content um then you can subscribe that's number one thing yeah youtube channel it'll all be linked down below every other day right now it's every other day 12 p.m we upload a video um and they're like movies okay so that and then come check out alfland here in uh missouri city texas if you ever come to houston make a stop and three alfie athletics if you want some leggings Got you. See, I, dude, I had a whole, I had a whole conversation about even not like Alpha Elite specifically, but something like leggings about how, I don't know how you monopolized this. Yeah. You, you, you've, you've made every girl literally want to burn this building down because you don't have enough of, of, of a, of a, yeah, a of a fabric legging in stock. Yeah. It's Blows a, my it's mind. It's scrunch technology. But yeah. It's the butt scrunch. I'm good at making asses look great. <laughs> Put that on a plaque, dude. <laughs> Chris, here's live, what, dude, in, in, in your funeral when you die in 70 years from now. You do my speech. You do the speech, right? It's going to say, dude, he always knew how to make an ass look good. <laughs> <laughs> they called him the ass maker. <laughs> they called him the goose. Um, okay, but uh, thank you guys for tuning in to Don't Be Sour. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Uh, I don't know. Did this be on Spotify? Everything? I don't oh, even wow. know what that means. Do you comp? You How do you do that? I don't. I don't. I literally. Luck. I have no idea. Well, get it up quick so I can put it in my video. It's it's no Sunday. This is, this is going okay. up. First episode. It's going live. All right. This is gonna be the this is gonna be the highest viewed video we ever have. I promise. Oh, this is going. My video is going to be on Sunday too. Yeah, that's why I asked you. So this is like oh. everything's launching at the same time. Okay. Cool. Ba- bada boom, bada bing. Twelve p.m. for mine. I'm gonna launch it in the morning. But yeah, just yeah. It, it'll be up by the time cool. by the time your video is up, it'll be up. All right. But yeah. Thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to Christian, check out all of his businesses, 3D, Alpha Elite, Odilia, which is launching soon, which I wanted to talk about. And let me know if you want him back on the pod. And that'll be it. Peace, dude.